the sun that is mother Be kind to your friends from the storm For the weather is cold and damp Be kind to your friends at the pond For that goose may be some bird's brother Be kind to the frogs and those with the fins So they want you to come back again to your web-footed friends For a duck may be somebody's mother Be kind to your friends from the swamp Where the weather is cold and damp Now you may think it's the end Well it is! What a lovely day, said Rosie as she steamed to Kingston on a fine sunny morning. She came to the top station. And rested in the shed so as to rest from helping a friend with the goats. She noticed a shed nearby, where Tyro and his friends are getting ready for work. A new bus was coming out, along with another. Peanut was first out, Followed by Kinder, then another was Algy. Hello, said Rosie. You're that bus Peanut Thomas talked about. And they introduced themselves. How's Tyo? Rosie asked. He's not well for this job, said Algy. He's lost his bag. His bag? Is that his travel one he took when coming to live here? It's a second one, so he's brought one, said Kinder. He left it back in South Korea. Ah. Uh, Oh, said Rosie. Perhaps I can go there so as to take it back to him. Did you say you're to get it back? said Taro, who came out of the shed. We only came out of the tunnel, so... You won't need a boat. Wish me luck then, said Rosie. You best get on with helping your passengers. All the people are waiting. Off you go. The buses left and Rosie went to find the tip shop. As she left Kingston to head for Margate, she noticed Garby taking his rubbish to the tip. Morning, Rosie. Rubbish day as usual, he said. Morning, Garby. I haven't got anything to take to the tip, said Rosie.
At last, she found the tip shop where adventures could begin. As if by magic, Twilight Sparkle appeared. Good morning, Rosie, she said. Going to far countries? Yes, I am, said Rosie. I'm to find Tyre's bag left behind from him. You best put some magic paint on yourself, said Twilight. You'll need it for this adventure. Rosie changed into a red paint. She noticed a mirror, so looked at herself in it, then went through the tunnel, the tunnel that could lead to adventures. Hmm. To her surprise, she found herself in a shed, a very large shed with all the cars and buses in a service checkup. There was Sito, who was getting his engine replaced, Pat the police car, and Nuri the taxi. They too were getting their engines replaced. Rosie didn't come here to get mended. She was working fine. She was about to look for Tyra's bag when someone got her attention. Hey! What are you doing here? It was a foreman who was inspecting a train with parts to come. We don't do steam engines, he said, only modern ones. It's ten o'clock, said Rosie. Shouldn't it be here by now? Well, it isn't, said the foreman. It's running late. May I find him and take what he's supposed to deliver? asked Rosie. Well, all right. I was about to look for another engine, said the foreman. Rosie left the large shed to find the engine running late. She came to a bridge and found the engine with the leak of black smoke. Hello, Mavis, said Rosie. What are you doing in South Korea? Hello, Rosie. I've been chosen to take some parts to a workshop, but... When I came to the bridge, I got stuck due to my engine running hot, said Mavis. While I collected the parts, I found a bag and took it to the Lost and Found Center. Lost it is, but I don't know who owns it. That's Tyre's bag, said Rosie. I'll take it back for you. Come on, our friends are waiting. <laughs> Rosie 
Rosa took Mavis to the workshop. Sorry I'm late, she said to the foreman. It looks like you're needing a service checkup too, said the foreman. We'll let the main engine take over. Rosie went to the lost and found center. She found it with the bag left outside. The driver got out to take it away. After that, she set off out of the town to the countryside. The forest was quiet enough for her to visit. Nobody would see her when she hides behind thick bushes. As if by magic, a pony appeared. It was Twilight Sparkle. Time for you to head home, Rosie, she said. Steam into this trunk. Rosie steamed through the trunk, and, as she expected, found she was back in the workshop in the tipyard of Market. She took a last look in the mirror, and changed back into pink. Mavis was on holiday when helping with taking parts to the workshop, said Rosie. She did get a surprise when you came to the bridge, said Twilight. Now you've got Tyra's second bag, you might take it back to him. Rosie said goodbye and went back to the shed in Kingston. Along the way, she met Tyre. Oh, you found my bag, he said. Where did you find it? A lost and found centre, said Rosie. Mavis found it first before me. I'll tell my friends about it when we finish day's work. <laughs> And he drove away. Rosie had a giggle. <laughs> Another job done. Thomas did say I'm a hero. She steamed off happily all the way home to a shed in Kingston.